What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to The Bourbon Wrench. Today, we're going to be covering four bourbons that you can get on the shelf for under $30. Now, there are a lot of bourbons around $30 that are really good. So, there's going to be a part two to this video. I just had to kind of narrow it down to four. To cover in this first part, I found four bourbons that were around the same proof so those are the, the four that we're gonna be doing today. All of these bourbons we're covering today are around 94 proof, just a little bit below, but they're all in that same ballpark and they all cost less than 30, uh, between 27 and $30 before tax. So we're in that, that $30 price range with these. The bottles we're gonna be talking about today are Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 1792 Small Batch, Maker's Mark 46, and Elijah Craig Small Batch. Now all of these are very readily available for me. Uh, for some of you guys, maybe the Smoke Wagon might be the hardest one to find just because they aren't in every market yet, but they are currently expanding and more and more places are getting it. So just be on the lookout, be patient. Eventually, this is just gonna be another staple amongst all of these other amazing $30 bottles. Before we get into it guys, just want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Into the AM. Click the link in the description, it's going to take you on over to their website. Browse it, they got hats, they got shirts, they got tank tops, they got shorts, they got underwear, they got friggin' everything! And when you use code BOURBONWRENCH or just simply click the link in the description, it's going to apply a 10% discount code for more savings, more money, to go buy some $30 bottles of bourbon, okay? Huge shout out to Into the AM for saving you guys money and supporting your bourbon buying habits, okay? All right, with that being said, let's get into this. How we're gonna be doing this different. So normally when I do these, I do it blind, um, but it's really not that blind because I know which four bottles we're drinking. So instead, I'm just going to be drinking these side by side it, we're gonna know exactly which one I'm drinking. We're gonna be talking about each one. We'll just uh, side by side them, drink them together, uh, see which one I like the best, and at the end I'll kind of give a loose ranking and just give you my thoughts and opinions on all of them. So let's get right into it. First bottle, Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So this is an MGP product. It's aged and bottled by the Agency Distilling Company out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, this is the lowest proof out of the four that we're covering today. 46.25%, 92.5 proof, costs 30 bucks. Let's just get right into it. Smoke Wagon, straight bourbon whiskey. A little corny, a little corny on the nose. Not, nothing crazy. This, I imagine this is kind of a little younger product. This is their budget line, so this came in right at $29.99. Um, again, this might be the hardest one for you guys to get simply because they aren't everywhere yet. Nice levels of sweetness though. There's a little bit of that youthful corn, but it's still offering a lot of sweetness in there too. So let's get in the palate. So on the palate, I'm getting a lot more of this butterscotch note. That corniness that I was getting on the nose is still there, but nowhere near as much as I was getting it on the nose. Um, the butterscotch note, that just comes out of nowhere. I absolutely love that. I'm still getting the t tons of caramels, tons of vanilla, decent levels of rye spice, but the addition of the butterscotch that I wasn't really getting on the nose. Fresh, green apple type stuff going on. Overall, pretty decent, good starter. We'll come back to it, we'll side by side it once we start comparing the other ones just to see how it stacks up against them. So let's go on to the next one. Next one we're going to be talking about, 1792 Small Batch. This one comes in 96.85% alcohol, 93.7 proof. They just decided to make up a random number. They wanted to do their own thing. Made by Barton, love the bottle. You know, fancy gold cork on top, you know, marketing. Okay, on the nose, this one is much sweeter. Than, than the smoke wagon. The smoke wagon, I imagine when I go back to it, I'm gonna start picking up the, that corn note a lot more because I'm not really getting the corn note on this one. It's tons and tons of caramel, tons of sweetness on this one. Little bit of banana, like a, like a ripe banana. Banana split on the palate. 
That one drinks way hotter than I was expecting. Typically, on the 1792 products, I, I feel like they drink hot. This one is no exception. I mean, that drink way hotter than even the Smoke Wagon, and they're one proof point off, so... This drinks more like it's a hundred or a little bit above. I think it's just really alcohol forward on the front. Tons of spiciness, but I mean that wasn't the spiciness that was doing that to me. I think these are just naturally a little hotter drinking th than you might think. Now that the shock has worn off, let me go back into it and, and kind of get over that ethanol and really judge this one. Hint of the banana note. Nothing, nothing too much though. Like I get on some of the uh, some of the other Brown Foreman products, like like an Old Forester 86 proof or something. I get way more banana on that. This is just kind of a hint of banana. Just like it's kind of kind of creeping in, kind of kind of staring at you from the distance. Banana. A little more oak presence. Not a whole lot. Don't get me wrong. This is not oaky, but. Uh, the first one, I wasn't really getting a whole lot of oak. It's more like a toasted oak. This is kind of creeping in a little more. I'm, I am kind of getting a little bit more corn on the palate, like a corn sweetness. Whereas I wasn't really getting it on the nose of this one. Um, the nose was really sweet. The palate on this is definitely sweet, but there is some more of that corn uh, graininess coming through. Overall, pretty good. After the first sip, though... It, it, it gets much better. That first sip kind of wakes you up. It kind of hits you in the face and says, Alcohol! Alright, let's get into the third bottle. Maker's Mark 46. This one comes in at 94 proof, 47% alcohol. What they do with the uh, Maker's Mark 46 is they take their Maker's Mark cask strength, they drop 10 seared French oak staves down in the barrel, and then they go and age it in their wine cellar they have at Makers. If you ever toured Makers, they take you in there. That's where they do all their private selects and stuff. They age it in there. And then Makers Mark 46 is born. They proof it down, naturally. But I say this because a lot of people say they don't like the regular Makers Mark. And this is not regular Makers Mark. Essentially, dropping those oak staves down in them is making this a double oaked product. That's... This is Maker's Mark double oaked, okay? This is totally different. Maker's Mark, Maker's 101, Maker's Cask Strength, that's one branch of the tree. Maker's 46, their private selects, the uh, the the yearly releases, the RC6, all of those, that's, that's another branch, okay? So they're totally different. So I tend to gravitate towards this bottle more. I just, I love it. I love dropping those oak staves down in there, so. Let's get into it. Woo, yeah. This is a caramel vanilla bomb, okay? A bomb. This is like toffee, nougat, vanilla, caramel. This is like candy. Candy in a glass. Absolutely sweet to the core. On the palate. Again, tons and tons and tons of sweetness coming through. It does kind of remind you of a, of a Woodford Double Oak or the 1910. You're getting the presence of those oak staves for sure. It's so mouth coating, a little bit of that toffee, caramel and vanilla. Drink this along with your coffee, pour it in your coffee, pour out your coffee, drink this, whatever. Absolutely love this stuff. Okay, before I just explode, let's go on to the last one. Elijah Craig small batch again 94 proof 47% alcohol out of Heaven Hill Huge fan of Elijah Craig barrel proof. So let's see what its little brother has to offer Again right under $30. This one was like 27 This was actually one of the first bottles that I got into once I started really diving into bourbon uh, of course, I think this is the price range people are going to go to first. They don't want to just jump to spending a, a lot of money on it. So the $30 range seems to be the next step. Uh, this was a bottle I bought shortly after just kind of saying, yeah, bourbon is it. And honestly, I have not had a bottle since then. I have had store picks of it, but I have not had the regular on the shelf. So it's going to be interesting going back after all these years. Elijah Craig Small Batch. Again, 
pretty sweet, but the difference that I'm getting on this one that I haven't really gotten on all of the other ones in this list, you're getting a, a charred oak note through it. A note that I am often talk about, but with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or other Barrel Proof products. So the fact that it's on this one, it's pretty good. Tons of spiciness, that charred oak note coming through, and I just absolutely love it. Um, still pretty sweet though. So again, I think these are perfect for beginners trying to get their feet wet out of the $10, $10 range. Definitely. The, this is the list to go to. This is the bottle to go to to really see what's out there. On the palate. Not as spicy on the palate as I was expecting it to be from the nose. Still, you're getting that toasted oak, which is delicious. It's it's a good introduction to what oak is. Still pretty sweet, so you're getting the caramels and vanillas. Um, not a whole lot of rye spice, though, and I don't know, maybe it's just coming off of all of these other ones, but not a whole lot of spice. Um, something to note about all of them, as a matter of fact, um, the finish. The finishes aren't crazy. They're not anything special to write home about. Little bit of corniness actually coming through, um, like a, almost a nuttiness coming through on the palate too, kind of behind that charred oak. So this one's nutty, corny, charry, delicious. All right, let me kind of side by side some of these. Um, honestly, the order of from least to favorite might be the order we drank them. I feel like I just progressively liked them more and more as we went. I would say probably the Smoke Wagon and the 1792 I need to side by side and the Maker's Mark and the Elijah Craig I need to side by side just to see which one my favorite is and, and to kind of give a loose ranking. All of these are pretty good, especially for $30. I think this whole list just needs to be your list. If you're looking for $30 bourbons, Get any of these. Get any of them that you see. This is a perfect list of bourbons to try to really show you what is out there, what these distilleries have to offer. This teaches you what MGP, what a sourced whiskey can can become. This shows you what Barton has to offer. This shows you what Maker's Mark truly is. If you don't like regular makers, well here you go. And it shows you what Heaven Hill has to offer. These are four totally different distilleries wide range, perfect. There you go. You want to learn something? Get these. Learn something. Smoke Wagon 1792. Yeah, side by siding them, uh, the, the 1792 small batch almost smells ripe. If that's, if, if that's the right word I'm looking for, I'm getting much more of a caramel, butterscotchy nose on the smoke wagon this time through. So on the nose, that it's it's better than the 1792. Yeah, this is this is exceptional, especially from being just an entry level bottle out of smoke wagon, a sourced whiskey that they they age themselves. They kind of put them in their own warehouses. Really good stuff. 1792. I'll be honest, I think I like the Smoke Wagon better than the 1792. Not that the 1792 is bad. I just feel like the Smoke Wagon's flavors are just so dense. Like on the palate, butterscotch bomb. And it's really good to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that above it. And then I'm gonna side by side the Makers and the Eliza Craig because those were definitely my leaders. They were both so good to me. Makers Mark. I don't know. You guys know me. I'm a Maker's fanboy, and this is hard to beat. It's super sweet, super toffee, super coffee, super delicious. Let's side by side the noses. Elijah Craig. It's tough because the Elijah Craig is so good, and like the Maker's fanboy in me really wants to give Maker's the edge. So. Can we just tie the nose? They're they're both equally good in their own rights, okay? Maker's 46. Super mouth coating. Super, super viscous. Tons of caramel, tons of vanilla. That toffee note, you can tell. This is almost like a, a, a Woodford Double Oaked or something, okay? Keep that in mind, breakfast. Elijah Craig. Really good. Tons of toasted oak. Um, 
Little bit of the corniness still going on. I think I'm gonna put the edge to Maker's Mark 46 because overall, I like it the best. The Elijah Craig small batch is still really, really good. Do not get me wrong. It, it, it's a toss up and maybe me being a Maker's fanboy is giving the edge to Maker's 46 because Maker's. I think I just liked the nose of the Elijah Craig better than I did the palette. I think on the palette, you get a little more corn on there than I was expecting. But still, you're still getting a this charred oak note on the palette. You're still getting tons of tons of sweetness, tons of caramel, tons of vanilla, but a little bit of the corny graininess. Only reason I'm putting it below the Makers 46, which the Makers 46 doesn't have at that at all. They're both exceptional whiskeys. In fact, this whole list, I think you should just try yourself. So this is just my palette. Um, with this with this video, I wanted to do this blind a little bit different in a sense of I wanted to walk you through four, four bourbons instead of uh, competing against four bourbons because at the end of the day, I like all of these. And I obviously own all of these for a reason because I friggin' like them. I think these are four exceptional bourbons for $30. This just goes to show you, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have really good whiskey. So there we have it guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you're a lurker, I know you're out there. And until next time guys, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video.